Alright, alright, beautiful people, this is the Kisumu City Talk Show. And of course, today I'm having a conversation with the super craftswoman. She's the definition of everything that includes feminine strength and the power of a woman, of course. So make sure to cut this conversation right here. So let's do this! Alright, alright, so of course, this is the Kisumu City Talk Show, and of course, we have this. Queen of craft seated right on my left side. Sijika in a five way, but we don't do that here, we are lost. But anyway, uh, Lorraine, sit down. Yes. Say hi to my people. Hi everyone, this is Lorraine, aka Mama Mona Crafts. Mama Mona Crafts? Yeah. Interesting, why Mama Mona Crafts? Kwanza, 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 Mama Mona Crafts. Mona, like why? Today, the second one, I'm just one proud mom. You are one proud mom. Yeah, my so, daughter's name is Mona. Uh -huh. How old is she? She's five. She's Five years right now. Five years right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell me about all these crafts things. So tell me about the passion then. Uh, when did it when did it start? Actually, yeah, uh, you have an apology or something. Uh this started uh, I think I got to know my talents in Tambo, like a while back. Mm -hmm. Way back in high school. Mm -hmm. But I guess high school you know you don't have that time. Mm -hmm. But then in campus mm -hmm. I was in KU. Kenyatta University. Main campus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I would be like, what during my free time, what can I be doing uh, to make something? You know, mm -hmm. I couldn't just rely on help. Mm -hmm. So I decided, let me be doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. So actually, I started with this you see in my hands, mm -hmm. these bangles. The natural bangles. Yeah, these are the bangles, but these are the Ankara customized uh, bangles. Ankara customized bangles. Yes, yeah. because we have uh, it's just plastic, mm -hmm. but then we have the Ankara on top just to cover the plastic thing. Yeah, so I would walk from hostel to hostel. Selling them? Yes, selling them. Mm -hmm. So how much and did the one bangle cost? Like actually? in campus, you know, you make offers because they're students. Uh -huh. Okay, a small one is supposed to go for 50 shillings. Uh -huh. But I will do, if you buy more than three mm -hmm. or four, I do at 30 shillings, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. So that's just it. Yeah, yeah, so that's when I started with it. Mm -hmm. And um, it grew like that. It grew like that. Yeah. So, so of course, uh, it's quite an interesting stuff. So like growing up as a teenager, is this what you really wanted to do? Actually, mm. I was called to do Bachelor of Arts. Bachelor of Arts. Minor, psycholo uh, major psychology, mm. minor literature. But I always wanted to do fashion and design. Mm. If not medicine, I'd wanted to do fashion and design. Mm. You wanted to be a doctor? Yeah. All right. <laughs> but then the cluster points uh -huh. couldn't allow me to do fashion and design. Uh -huh. uh, so I would like, ah, let me just use my God-given talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's just it. Mm. My own inspiration comes from, actually, I don't even follow major fashion like people. Mm -hmm. icon I don't think I have any mm -hmm. uh, I try to make my own like to do my own stuff mm -hmm. yeah kind of like that but I've always had an interest mm -hmm. in anything creative yeah. So I've seen you also have like uh, uh, some beautiful kiondos here. Yes. So, so tell me about how you come up like with first of all the kiondo. So like this is now the reed basket. Real basket. Reed. Reed. This is the reed basket. Uh -huh. It's different from this one. This is sisal uh -huh. and then this is reed. Reed. In Kijalu we say othe. Othe. Yeah, all right. Okay. This is the thing. <laughs> so I realized that like uh, when you go shopping, mm -hmm. like maybe you want to carry something unique or for picnic, mm -hmm. or it can act as a storage basket. So mm -hmm. I was like, uh, why not just bind on top mm -hmm. uh, with, this is pure leather. But then the difference comes in, mm -hmm. this is leather for the goats. Leather for the goats. For binding, we use skin from the goats, mm -hmm. and this is from the cow. So there's a difference between the two of them. This is much lighter, this is much thicker. So you need a worry, I'm too much. Exactly. So, right. uh -huh. so, so like, I, sometimes I do bind with Ankara also. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say a, a customer wants with matching bangles, mm -hmm. matching ring, mm -hmm. and matching bow tie Precisely. with this inside and the Ankara, mm -hmm. and then maybe the sandals. So you do a customization like that. Mm -hmm. So this is the red basket. So, all right. So, in 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 it, this is sisal. Sisal. But this is sisal, but it's not pure sisal. It's not pure sisal. This is made of, this is wool, uzi. Uh -huh, uzi yeah. These are different types of uzi, mm -hmm. and then the white part is the sisal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are different kinds of kiondos which you can use different materials. Mm -hmm. Like for example, this one you can use the manila, mm -hmm. this is the plastic. And sometimes, mm -hmm. just like that one, this one, this one, one. Uh -huh. I take them because this is also red. 
it's uh, it's also read. Yes, these two are read baskets, uh -huh. exactly the same. But I like to paint sometimes to change their color. Mm -hmm. I buy paint and then I paint and then I finish with varnish. All this I do by myself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I try to come up with different designs. Yeah, unique. Uh, so precisely. Like, so how do you come up with the design? I don't know. Sometimes, like, let's say for example, I'm sitting here with you uh -huh. and I'm looking at you and I'm like, if I try this, can it look really nice? Mm -hmm. So, for example, I decided if I try to put some beadwork mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. it will make it stand out from this one. So it makes it two totally different things. Uh, exactly. And then maybe with this, a client may want an anklet mm -hmm. that looks the same, uh -huh. a neck piece that looks the same, or what I'm wearing, the neck piece, the headpiece. Or any headpiece. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. The same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so how much would the basic Kiondo cost? Mr. Diope, I don't know if you can have that one. Yeah. Uh, that uh, basic, the brown one. The yeah. brown one. This brown one. Can I have this? Yeah. This yeah, letter, letter two is also yeah. Because of uh, too many orders, mm -hmm. like uh, I have a team, like I have a team who help me in weaving. You also, have a team that yeah. helps you in weaving. Yes, yeah. they are also the ones who taught me how to weave. Mm -hmm. Like for example, this pink one. This pink one. Yes, right. I've perfected my art in weaving. Mm -hmm. I can start and I can finish. So for example, this is a size six. Sorry. A size six. All right, so, so. A size six. <laughs> I'm meaning yeah. this is six. Uh, sorry, a size four. This is a size four. I'm sorry. This uh -huh. is a size four. Uh -huh. So this is four inches. Four inches. Four inches from this to here. Mm -hmm. And then when it stands, the height is also four inches. Four inches. Yes. Yeah, so when I say a size four, I mean it's four inches down, mm -hmm. four inches up. Mm -hmm. And now this is a size eight. A size eight. The same applies. Mm -hmm. Eight inches in height, mm -hmm. eight inches in width. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how example. much would a basic one cost? A basic one would cost like a thousand shillings. Like a thousand shillings. Like this is just a normal Kiondo, Kiondo mm -hmm. with just simple accessory of the leather, mm -hmm. adjustable strap. Mm -hmm. But depending on what the client wants me to add mm -hmm. on it, if it's an Ankara, mm -hmm. uh, extra pockets inside, mm -hmm. some decoration outside, mm -hmm. the price goes up. Yeah. So, so, so let's now talk about easy and easy on my So for this round one, mm -hmm. you see it's black mm -hmm. and white. Yeah, black and white. Um, so, so behind me, there's also a black and white. A black and white. Yes. It's black and white. So basically when you want to make, this is a round rattan. We call it rattan boho bag. Rattan boho bag. Yes. It's rattan rattan boho, bag. boho bag. Yeah. So basically, when you want to make this, mm -hmm. we have to weave mm -hmm. a plain kiondo. Mm -hmm. we, have, we weave a plain kiondo just like this one, mm -hmm. and then we cut it out, cut it out. into circles. Mm -hmm. Into circles to make this one. Yes. I would have shown you all the tools that we use, mm -hmm. but I haven't cut it. Yet. So, yes. so how much would a boho this bag? This is 1500. 1500 Kenya shillings. 1500 Kenya shillings. So but it's... if you want with beads all round, mm -hmm. Goes for 2500. 2500. Yes. So it's more expensive than the Kiondo. It's more expensive than the Kiondo mm -hmm. itself because mm -hmm. this is the same, the same color. All right. This is the same color, the same materials. Mm -hmm. But this one is going at 1300. It's going at 1300. This is going at 1300. This is going at 1500. This one. This is more of like a picnic. This is more like a picnic bag or a lunch bag. A lunch bag. Like ladies who love to carry food maybe to the office. Mm -hmm. You just need to warm, you just put it inside here. You, you put it inside here. You put it inside here, food, you go with it to the office. It's so easier, easy to use as in, and then you see the flap. Mm -hmm. You can just easily open it up. But me, I use it to put all of my beads inside because it makes it easier for me to carry. Carrier, exactly. Yeah, it's also a picnic bag. Mm -hmm. Yes. So these two are the same size. Yeah, the same size. These two are the same size. Now this is the finished one, mm -hmm. and this is the unfinished. Mm -hmm. So most times people want it like this. When you're finished, we always bind it. You put this inside, and then you stitch. So most people sometimes they like it as a planter. Mm -hmm. Like it remains like this, a planter and then you put flowers. Mm -hmm. You put flowers inside, decorative, mm -hmm. for decorative purposes. Also this is a big size. Now this is a size 14. Mm -hmm. This one goes for 1800 if I put for you the handles. If I don't put anything, it's 1500. So this is more of also a storage basket, a shopping basket, and just for putting your throw pillows and your blankets, if you know what throw pillows. Tropilos. Yes. All right. Tropilos. So speaking of like these designs, of course, uh, 
always the other one that had acceptance. This yeah. one's. So has a customer, a customer, a client, precisely, mm -hmm. ever asked you like to do a pattern that was yes. challenging to you? Uh, yes, there was this certain pattern uh -huh. that I had to bid all the way, mm. I had to bid all the way around mm. to cover up here. From here to here, mm. she wanted the bits. And then she wanted her name, mm. the symbol of her name mm. written. BK. I can remember her very well. Mm. Bella, hi, how are you? All right. Bella, hi. Say hi to Bella. Hi, hi. Bella, yeah. Mama. <laughs> yeah, she's the one yeah. who made me do the initials for her name. Yeah. And then to do the bid work, mm. it takes some time and it takes patience so it was, as well. It was a bit but challenging. It was a bit challenging. Mm. And another one was when I had to do mm. the bids all round for the boho, mm -hmm. for the round bag. Mm. I had to do the bids all round. Mm. The boho, because, this is the boho. Yes, yeah. I had to do bids all round, all round it mm. so that I could. Um, and then go and fix it up. Mm. So that was like a bit challenging because it was something that I had not done before. Mm. But I tried mm. and she loved it. Also with the one that I had the initials, mm. she loved it so much. All right. And yeah, that's how I got my client. Mm. Yeah. So and, and also like have you have you like been a victim of of course uh, deadlines and pressure from clients? <laughs> Every day. every day, almost every day, every day. especially the rainy season, uh -huh. um, like now, um, sisal mm. needs to be stripped of its green. It, it needs it need to be stripped, 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 stripped yeah, yeah, the green part, mm. to be stripped, the bakikamba kamba. When it rains like this, mm. it takes time to dry. Um, it takes time to dry. Mm. Now after drying, mm. and then I have to, we have to boil it with the dye, ndo ishike vizuri. So, you turn again, you have to dry it again. Mm. So in a chukwa time. Mm. And then my team, we are five. Yeah, so shout out to Mama Dan. Mama Dan. Mama Dan. Uh -huh. Now she's my main, main weaver. Even when I'm here, mm. I just have to call her Mama. We have this order. Mm. Can you do this? Mama Dan is precious. You, so you told me a very interesting thing. You told me like the, you get the size from Cumberland. Yes. Kitu? Exactly. Mm. I'm really, really under pressure, kabisa, kabisa. And then because I do stuff a lot, mm. nafanya beads, beer. So kuna time pia unataka client, anataka kitu tofauti. Like, can you try this? So kuna kongana everyday new challenge, challenge, challenge. But I thank God my clients are really patient like right. when you explain to them. Yeah. So to, to tell me about your worst experience with a client, of course. <laughs> I had <worst experience>. this. <clears throat> This client gave me this size. This is a size. 14. <laughs> this client, she gave me sizes 14. She wanted seven. Seven, seven size 14. 14. And you know, among the weavers, mm. they love doing this size. Let me have this size. This is a size 10. This is a size 10. The weavers love doing size 10. Yeah. They but do she wanted size 14. Size 14 now seven. this one. Seven. Hey. You can imagine, and the someone is supposed to fly out with them to Australia on 31st. On 31st. On 31st. Uh -huh. Now this client gives me the mom because the mom is in Kenya. That woman would call me every day at 6, at 12, every two hours, every two hours, every two hours. Do you know I never enjoyed my 20, my first? You never enjoyed like, your I first? I never enjoyed my first well, yes, So how much, how much time or rather how many days? You like now this for, for, for a size 10, mm -hmm. if to be... Kama kuna kitu yote, yani it's just this one. Yeah. Akuna kulima, akuna kufanya nini. It's supposed to take like, at least even 24 hours. 24 hours. Or two days. But kuyongeza kulima. Or you are distracted and all that. Yeah. Ineza chukua kama three days. Three days. Three days. Right. But kama isa is 14 precisely, mm. nafaisha na three days. This is exactly three days. Hii hata 24 hours. Hii nai ni a matter of hours. A matter of hours. This is not a matter of just hours, my Misha. So this is the completed version of this? This is the completed version. All right, so let's now talk, 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 talk about the reverse story. Tell me about your best client experience before we head on to a short break, my, commercial break. My client from Germany and Finland. Uh -huh. Germany, I thought, you know, the way you talk to clients sometimes, they are like just inquiries. And you mm. get a lot of inquiries. You send, like I can send like to 20 people every mm. day. You just forward photos, prizes, mm. tell them prizes, follow me and all that. Mm. And then one day he just travels. He just travels to, to, to Sen, thank you so much, it's called Sen Kennedy. He just travels to Kenya and I'm like, I need this. Though it was abrupt, he gave me four days to look for around 50 pieces of Kiondo. Four days to look for 50 four pieces of Kiondo? Four days to 50 pieces of Kiondo and um, 
like around 20 pairs of my size sandals. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a conversation with Mama Mona Crafts, um, a super craftswoman, of course. So we will be right back after the break. So Mona, let's 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 now continue with our conversation, mm -hmm. Mama Mona. Yes. All right. So t tell me about your work here, first of all. Honest. Honesty. Like because I'm online based, mm -hmm. the client has to get what is in the photo, mm -hmm. exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. So whatever photo it is, whatever picture he or she sees, mm -hmm. that is exactly when I'm delivering mm -hmm. because 80% of my clients are online based. I've never met them. As much as they've shopped with me more than three, four times, I've never. So you have to be very, very honest. You have to deliver. If there's maybe a hiccup, you have to tell them in advance because uh, to grow, to, to, to enhance that honesty within them and then they'll see you as like, wow, I can trust this person. Honesty and trust. When you are honest, when you deliver what they're seeing, then they just come back. All right, so that means you're not used to like to routine work. Where's the, where's the final routine work? <laughs> I don't think I can be an office person. You cannot be an office person? If I have to get work, uh -huh. let it be like in the field. Uh -huh. I'm not the kind of person to just sit. Because mm. most times, even if I sit in the house, I want to watch mm. a movie. Mm. Akilina chocolate. Akilina. I either I watch it while I'm bidding mm. or I'm doing something, but it's easy to watch Nimeka. Oh. I feel really severe. Okay. Mm. Mm. So it's I'm paying off quite well. I can say two years. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. It's been awesome. Uh -huh. You won't even believe I started with eight. Eight. Eight kilo I started with eight. Uh -huh. Before I could get my own team, mm -hmm. I started with eight. Mm. Eight, and um, my cousin, Lavi, big shout out, mm. she gave me the capital. And then, yeah. uh, with that, this thing of people saying at CG your friends can never buy mm. from you. Mm. Like me, I had, I think my phone book is just blessed. It's like, blessed. It's blessed. Because the first people who bought this mm. were my friends. And those who did not buy mm. referred me to their friends. So mm. these eight, after these eight, I got 25. So you have very supportive friends. I have very, very supportive friends. So tell me about this uh, empowerment stuff you are doing with Mohoroni. With Mohoroni. Yeah. So just, you know, like online, um, with my online clients, mm. someone is like, I'm looking for someone. Mm. who can train women mm. to in Mohoroni, it's a good deal. So a client who have never even bought from me, mm. but from just one of the groups, actually it was Kisumu Moms, mm. says, you know the way you mentioned your name like 10 times. You know when your name is mentioned when someone is looking for something 10 times, mm. it means that person will be like, why now you mention you as It means she can do something great. Mm. So she, I inbox her. And then she's like, okay, I'm giving you the number. Kidogo, Kidogo, Magazine, that's the white lady. She mm. calls me from UK. She texts me via WhatsApp. I'm coming to Kenya on, in January. Can you train, give me the quotation and all that. And then I tell my team, I'm done. And then, you know, I get them all the way from, they've never been to Nyanza. I get them all the way from Ukambani Dani, everything paid for. Transport, where they're going to feed, uh, to, to sleep, food allowance per week. And they train these 20 women so, so, so well. So, like, we, what we are, we are looking for, we are aiming for at the Mohoroni women is, you know, there are, most of them are widows. Mm. And then most of them are like um, widows, are vulnerable, uh, people living with HIV and AIDS. So affected and living with HIV and AIDS, and they dis are uh, like disabled. So we decide if they can weave, then these things are bought, taken to the UK, and then they're sold. They get NHIF. Some are even bought land. Their kids and their grandchildren are educated through that. So, but with all that, imagine out of 20, we manage only to keep around 11. Mm. The rest, you know, when you start something, they do not see the goodness. The goodness. They do not see the future. Right. Mm. Yeah. So this was their theme color, actually. This, this was their theme color for the Muhoroni people's all right. right. This, yeah. The Iachini. Iachini. Yes. This, this was, was the their theme, theme color. Mm. Yeah. Even the way it was, maybe we were of Ibaya, while we were talking about Nunua to in support of them. I've also seen you have Maasai slippers, Maasai, what, what, is that what? Maasai sandals. Yeah. Yes. So it's it's also like uh, one of yes, the... Yes, so these crops. ones, I have one lady. Mm. You know, we, I can't do all of these things. Mm. So I have to also create jobs for other people, for, you know. Uh, exactly. Because when and you do to, this, it becomes like una kwa greedy sana, yeah, you know. Sure, sure. So I have a lady, she's called Cynthia. Cynthia. Cynthia does this. Mm. So, so, so well. But most of my sandals are pre ordered. Pre ordered. Like, I've got a client from Rwanda, I've got a client now from the US who, die, who takes these sandals, oh, plus the waist beads and anklets. And yeah, I'm still looking into getting more. And then 
and I've also got people take from wholesale. So, so big shout out to Cynthia for an amazing work, amazing work you're doing. So we are just, we just like cele celebrating uh, celebrated our moms on Mother's Day. So tell me about that now that you're a mom. How does it feel to be of course celebrated in one of the most hyped up of uh, course days? Honestly, this was the first uh, yesterday I could not sleep mm. the whole night. I was like, what will I say? Mm. What will I dress? You remember told yeah, you like how will I dress yeah, yeah. and all that? Mm. And then like my friends were like, ah, utakwatusa wana konga very mouthy. Like I don't mm. think you won't taste that thing. Mm. So just here I am. Mm. <laughs> so I feel really honored to be featured uh -huh. as a mom. Uh -huh. Mona is my daughter. Actually, when I wake up, mm. I pray for my daughter. I pray for my clients. I pray for my family and friends like you people who want the best for me. Yeah, because so you are you are like you, you are using your daughter's name. Yeah. Yes, she's my like inspiration. Let's just say it like that. She's my inspiration. Yeah. Like, so, so, so any other thing that you'd love like to tell any other person out there that wants to pursue craft professionally and of course full time without any other uh, side hustle or something? Um, I, all I can say is I've started this, uh, but I used to, I didn't have the consistency. Mm. I would start something and then drop it off. Start something, then drop it off. But now when I started, actually, what inspired me to start this had gone to work in Qatar. I stopped schooling for a while. Mm -hmm. I post I you called off the semester. Yeah, to go in Qatar. Desperate times call for desperate maybe was joining school. So you I went for you went you went to Qatar? I went to work as a maid actually yeah. in Qatar. I didn't stay long, just mm -hmm. five. Let's five just say months. it was horrible experience. Horrible experience. I had to go through counseling when I came back mm -hmm. and all that. Mekonda, But then when I came back I said, I'm so good at this. Why would I go back there again as much as I was desperate? Let me try and work on this and be consistent. I guess experience from there, if I can be consistent. So that's just it. And then my mom is a supporter. When I need to leave to go see a client, so my mom is my number one. Like supporter kapisa. Anything I'm doing, ata niki kujia apa, she was like, how can I help you pack these things? <laughs> and all that. So I, my mom, I love her. I love her. Alright, you are honestly a true definition of uh, woman's strength. That's, in that, that's, that's inspiration. Iyo pati ya katara na ninini menishika. Alright, so I also like see recently you are, you posted uh, you are, your sister, she passed an exam. Any, any what your sister, Najwata Wochi? Congratulations. Uh -huh. Michelle Christine. Yeah, yeah, called Peter. Michelle Christine. She got a B plus. Mm. She wanted to be a doctor also, but mm. I guess her cluster points. But we're looking into law uh -huh. and pharmacy. And pharmacy. And, but she, she can also start craft. I'm teaching her yeah. how to do this. She at least she has an interest. She's mm. our last one. Mm -hmm. She has a, although our second one is a, an advocate. Mm -hmm. So she's um she's really getting an interest mm -hmm. in this. Also Mona. Mona can weave can bid her own neck piece, mm -hmm. this bangle. And for the athlete, sometimes she and she comes with from here. All right, so I guess we are slow. We are coming like to the end of the interview. Any, any other thing that you would like, like of course, so to tell your supportive to say, friends, to yes. your clients, and every other person? Firstly, I want to say thank you guys. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this day would come. Yeah. Like you just identified me from Instagram, mm -hmm. and here I am. Like I'm really, really, really too grateful. Yeah. This is my first shoot like this. Yeah. So I didn't know it would happen. Yeah. I would also want to say thank you to my clients. Those who refer me, those who mention me, you guys are amazing. God bless you, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Alright, so how was the interview? <laughs> now that it's your first. Before? Uh, Before Simba. Before Simba. It's nice. It must be a lot of time. 100%. No, not even scale of 10. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100
artwork and portfolio. So I had an amazing time hosting this. Thank you for finding time. And of course, where, 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 where can you find on you on your social media platforms? So my personal account on Facebook mm. is Lorin Lonora. Yoni yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Instagram, Nimamamona Crafts. Underscore Kiondos underscore Crafts. Facebook page is Mama dot Mona. I'm in the process of uh, coming up with a website so uh, and, and, and all that. Yeah, you need skin pages for that. I'll, uh, I'll plug you to skin pages. Yes, yeah, so I need uh, that. That those are my social media. Yeah, of course, uh, of course. WhatsApp me or seven one three five zero eight seven one five. So see you guys sorry. next time. Oh, sorry. <laughs>